What up, what up, what up, guys? V the Sapien here, back again with yet another video after the hype unboxing video. <laughs> that shit was mad hype, bro. So now I'm about to give my full review on the Dotron Storm Limited. Of course, I need to write it more, so I'm gonna give you some more updates, um, let you know how it's been, but we are back now, and I know you guys have been waiting for a review, so that's the reason why I'm gonna jump on it right now. Um, let you guys know how it is. So, first of all, I wanna start off by addressing the comments. I have my own style in the way that I do my videos, guys, okay? So, I'm unique, all right? I talk about things that people don't talk about, and I'm gonna add in what I wanna add in. I'm gonna make my videos the way I wanna make them. If you truly fuck with me and you truly like my videos, then you can watch them. If you don't like them, if it's too long or too short or whatever, some will be long, some will be short, some will be, you know, a fair amount of uh, length. But if you don't like them, you don't have to watch. My videos are the way I do them and I'm original. So just making that clear. I actually, I'm gonna talk about a good amount of things in this video, but I'm gonna mention some other things in, in this video other than, you know, the review of the scooter, you know, before I get into it. Um, people who really truly rock with me know how I do it, so really doesn't really matter. So I made a first impression video right here on the Duotron Storm Limited. I had just took it out for the first time, getting ready to go and ride it, test it out for the acceleration. I didn't have much time. I was in a hurry. I need to get it to work, but I was like, damn, let me drop a quick video on, you know, showing the acceleration. Now I made the video and you know, I hopped on and then I took off. I put my phone on my phone holder, as you guys can see up there. I put it on a phone holder. It, I do not have a GoPro. Let's make that clear. Um, I put it on a phone holder and, you know, I was just really quick, ready to do it. And I just took off. You guys saw the video just to show you the first initial pressures. Then you get comments talking about, well, the first one person was like, um, why is your camera pointed to the ground? And I'm like, dude, really? It's like, okay, yeah, the camera is pointed to the ground, but why is that what you're paying attention to? Okay, you see it's only like a one minute video. The point of the video is, you know, to watch and see the acceleration, you know, to see, nobody has any videos out to see how it is. Okay, that's cool. Then the next one comes up saying, why is your, why is your camera pointed to the ground? Pointed up. And then I'm like, okay, People are actually fixated on where the camera is pointing, okay? So, let me tell you why the camera was pointed down, okay? So, first of all, the camera is pointed down because I wanted it to be pointed down. Because I am a unique individual. As you guys can tell, all my videos are different, okay? I talk about things that most people don't talk about. I try to make original content, all right? and. I put my camera down on purpose, okay, for a couple of reasons. Um, one reason is the distortion from when the um, scooter is riding and vibrating. It shakes real nasty and it looks really bad because I do not have a GoPro. People who follow me know that. I don't have a GoPro yet. I just dropped $6,000 on a Dualtron Storm Limited, okay? So I don't have the money to go and buy that right now. And I want the GoPro Hero 10. The point is it shakes, it shows a lot of distortion. So I was like, you know what? Let me point it down to the bottom. And then that way you don't see the distortion as much. And I think it's kind of cool. You could see the front wheel, you get burning out. Nobody does that, okay? So that's part of the reason why I do it. Here's another reason why I don't point it up, okay? So people want to see high quality videos right? I want to see high quality videos. Everybody has a right to that. Now you can either be a person that doesn't give a shit or you can be the kind of person who was like, all right, you know, well, I'm just going to put this out here and whatever. Okay. If I turn my camera up, it's going to be shaking so bad that it's going to make you dizzy. It's going to make you like, what the hell is going on? Like, oh my God, it's, it's rattling so bad. So I improvised and did something original that I thought looked cool and pointed it down, okay? So 
Another reason is the ride quality. The quality of the experience is not up to par. People Now, people bicker about bullshit. But if someone were to bicker about, oh my God, it looks ter- it looks kind of bad. It makes me dizzy. Of course, hopefully in a respectable way, they tell me, hey, it looks bad. It's too shaky. Uh, maybe next time upgrade to a blah, blah, blah. In the most polite manner you can. I would agree with that. I'm not going to get mad over that because I would agree. That's why I don't want to do it in the first place. But, you know, all right, since he's saying that people that maybe in this video, I'll show the speed test that I did. But the quality is not good and I don't like that. But I'll, I guess maybe I'll put it in. But anyway, that's another reason why I did it. OK, now here's another thing I have to mention on that. Now, when you look at the comments on my last video when I did the test, Notice how it's the people that really fuck with me who are watching that video and asking questions about the scooter, okay? It's the people who fuck with me, okay? Chan was asking me, how fast does it go? How much speed did you get? How's the acceleration? Mikey from the electric scooter guy was like, oh my fucking God, that shit is insane, man. I, I'm gonna get it, man. That shit looks crazy, it looks crazy, it looks crazy. Tank Williams. I had a big ass discussion with Tank Williams. I just kept going back and back and forth, back and forth, because he was asking me questions. And I don't mind. I love to answer your guys' questions. I mean, I'm the same way. I want to know how something is. I was born to help. Okay, I was born to help people. That's that's just who I am. So when he comes to ask me questions, I was going back and forth with him. The point is, these are people who legitimately fuck with me. You can tell the difference. Okay, like I said. This is the main reason why I don't ask people to subscribe or to like my videos, because I want to get people who see my videos and be like, wow, this is so great. This is so amazing. I like this guy. Like and subscribe off of my doing. That means I legitimately earned that without telling you to do that. And that also means these people like to subscribe because they like how I am and what I did. So when they see my videos, they know what to expect, okay? Now, I'm actually going to make a video on this saying like, uh, you know, before, I'm going to make a before you watch my videos, okay, videos so that I can explain everything, all right? And then after that, I won't speak on this no more. Now, another thing I want to talk about before I get into this scooter, right now, I want to do some honorable mentions. Right now, I want to shout out some reviewers, okay? Because I, dude, I'm looking at reviews all the time. I'm looking at reviewers. I'm watching your guys' videos. You know, I'm trying to see who's out there. I'm looking, I'm looking at in, uh, scooter enthusiast videos with different styles, different variations that I like. And, you know, I want to put you guys up on game on some good uh, scooter reviewers if you haven't came up. And I want to say right now, I'm happy to be in this category with these reviewers who are coming up right now. Um, as in my, what I mean, people in my same category, people with roughly the same amount of uh, supporters. First of all, let me make one thing clear. I don't refer to you guys as followers. You know, that's that's to me, that's an insult. I know that YouTube calls us uh, and people watch subscribers, but still that follow notion is still up in the air and everybody's hung up over follow, follow. That's an insult. OK, people who watch me are supporters, not followers. OK, I just want to make that clear. But anyway, let's get into some honorable mentions. Let's get some shout outs here. Of some dope ass reviewers that I think you guys should check out if you haven't seen. Joyride J, a.k.a. J. Coddux. Let's go. The max speed is at 49 miles an hour. It was slow. Roman. Kizzy E Wheels. Electric Scooter Guy. And guys, as the title reads, we're going to do a quick comparison review on the Cabo Wolf Warrior 11 Plus versus the Dualtron Ultra 2 in the ultimate electric scooter review. So, bam, right there. Shout out to those guys right there, man. Honorable mentions, man. I fuck with all I fuck with all their channels. You guys should go check their channels out. These guys are in the same category as me. We are up-and-coming YouTubers. And 
I enjoy their videos. So, you know, there's plenty more, um, but I can't include them all in here. I'll make a separate video with that. But I really fuck with these guys. I think these guys are dope. And if this does the amount of numbers that my um, Dotron Storm review does, I would love for a lot of people to see that so that they can check these people out. It's about paying it forward. It's about helping people out. It's not about being selfish. So shout out to you guys. All right, let's get into this scooter. Okay, so first of all, what can I talk about? Okay, the size, okay? Now, one of the reasons I got this for is for the size. The size and the amount of power that you get in it. Now, this is like more of a compact scooter with a lot of power, okay? So you're getting a compact scooter packed with lots of power, a huge battery, okay? This is one of the main reasons why I got this scooter, okay? Now, in, in my opinion, I think that this is what Dualtron is trying to achieve with most of their scooters except one. They're trying to make a scooter that is, um, you know, super powerful, got, gets a good, decent range, but not too big and bulky. Because you compare this to like a WePad SST, which is super heavy and really big with a lot of power. But, you know, this is still not as powerful as that. I'll get to that. But still, you know, there is no such thing as a perfect scooter. Okay, but this scooter definitely has a lot of things in one. I'm going to tell you that right now uh, for the price. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of just one thing I want to mention. Uh, the reason why I got it for the size. Now, the, the thing is, is I, I don't know how they do it, but it's amazing how they pack so much power into the size of this scooter. Now, this scooter is not that heavy. It's, it's more portable. If you want to fold it down, you can fold it down, put it in a trunk. Um, as you guys know, I did the measurements, you know, already. Um, so it's really not that, uh, big. Now, when you can, when you compare this to the Dualtron X in size, there's really no comparison. The Dualtron X is huge. Okay. Now, but the suspension on the Dualtron X is godlike, okay? This is gonna be the best fucking suspension on any fucking scooter out right now. I don't give a fuck what it is, okay? The suspension on the Dualtron X is insanely comfortable and just amazing, okay? But the thing with the Dualtron X is, is that it's really, really big and bulky, okay? So um, that's one thing to be aware of if you don't want a really big, huge scooter, um, but you want something with a 45 amp hour battery because this has the same size battery as a Dualtron X, but you want something more compact and small, um, I would go with the Dualtron Storm Limited. But if you want comfortability, you want something with amazing suspension, um, then I would go with the Dualtron X because the Dualtron X is a fucking beast ass scooter. It's fast, um, you know, it's the Dualtron X2 now. So um, if you want that, go ahead and get it you know, over this, but, you know, um, it shines in its own way. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the details of this scooter. Uh, since you already know the X, I'll tell you the details of this, and then you can make a decision. Also, guys, speaking of the Dualtron X, okay, now, this has been released. This is the Dualtron Storm Limited, okay? This and the Thunder 2 is the most recently um, released scooters. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind something, okay? There is a Dualtron X3 coming. Okay, there's there's fair there's there's not that much amount of details on it, but the Dualtron X3 is coming, guys. So if you want to hold out after I tell you the specs on this and how this is, you can hold out and you can decide to get a Dualtron X3 or you can get this right now. Honestly, I think you can't go wrong with either scooter, but I'm quite sure the Dualtron X3 is going to be a beast. So far, what we know and what we've heard and what I've heard from talking to sources or whatever, the Dualtron X3 is going to be in the same, probably in the same range as the WePad FS, okay? It's going to be around $8,000 or possibly even more. Now, if it's in the ballpark of $8,000, that's going to tell me that there's going to be some crazy specs on that thing, okay? That means the specs are going to be similar to a, um, a WePad FS or, or possibly a Ryan, okay? And we'll get into that. 
uh, the dip that differs. Okay, so keep in mind there is a Dualtron X3 coming, guys. So if you want to hold out for that, I don't know when it's going to be released, but you can hold out for that. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a similar build to the Dualtron X, the original Dualtron X and the Dualtron X2 are pretty similar. I don't know if they're going to change the suspension. I don't know if it's going to be big and bulky. All I know is the X3 is coming. So if you guys want to hold out for, for that, you can, but I'm just letting you know. All right, so what can we jump into next? Let's jump into charging, okay? Now, <laughs> in my unboxing video, I made a mistake. I was super duper hyped about the scooter and I misinterpreted a feature on a charging feature on the scooter, which I already know, but I was just super fucking hyped in my unboxing video of this that I couldn't even fucking think straight. So I messed up and, and you know, represented the four amp charger as the fast charger for <laughs> the Dualtron Storm Limited. No, that's to this scooter, that's technically a small, uh, a slow charger with, um, with a good charger that has a fan on it that's not gonna fucking overheat and burn up. So <laughs> that's all it is. It's just a high quality, slow charger. Okay, it's charging at four amps. Um, this scooter can actually charge at 20 amps, okay, max. Okay, so there's two ports, I'm assuming it's 10 amps each. So if you can get another charger that charges at 10 amps, then you can put it in at 10 amps, or you could buy two of the regular chargers and you'll be charging at eight amps, which is gonna be a lot faster, a lot faster. Um, since they say that the um, an empty battery on this is 69 volts, um, I kind of did a little, you know, rough estimate calculations on it. You're looking at around 16 hours to get a full charge on a four amp um, charger, so, Good luck with that, man. So you may want to think about getting two chargers if you need that rapid charging. For me, I'm just going to charge it on a regular charger. Um, I'm very safe on charging. I'm not going to put a whole lot of volts in it. I charge this in my house. I made a safety video on charging if you guys want to watch it. Um, completely original idea, but that's up to you. You can get higher, fast chargers or whatever. Um, but that's how the charging works. I messed up on the unboxing, just to clarify that. Let me get up, let's, let's go take a look at the scooter here, and I'm gonna talk about it, um, give you all the details on it. So, as you can see, looking good, looking beautiful. Um, you see all the aftermarket parts that I've taken out. Um, I've even, I had to take off the, uh, the grips too, because the grips are fucking terrible. And I got these aftermarket grips that I really like. Um, they're actually very soft and very plush. They feel very comfortable. Um, so the grips have been upgraded. Obviously the handlebars have been upgraded to straight handlebars. Um, this carbon of a roll, however you say that, <laughs> stem riser is here. 80 millimeter stem riser. This is a must have. Um, and this is my style. This is the way that I do my riser. Um, I use this right here. It's a little bike um, handlebar riser that I got off uh, Amazon that you connect to this. And then this goes up to give you even more height, guys, because I am tall. If you are tall, you need to get this because you're not going to feel comfortable. The scooter is initially like fucking all the way down here somewhere. Like it's very uncomfortable. Um, when you get this, it makes this scooter feel very good. Um, let's see here. Yeah, and also, as you guys can see, I also got a, another Dualtron Russia clamp because there's no way in fucking hell I'm gonna be riding this thing without this. Dude, the amount of power this, this shit has, no way. Um, let's see here. Oh. One thing with this, guys, the way that I do it to get maximum height, okay? I wish you could go higher, but you really can't because the thing is you run out of wire, okay? Now, it looks like there's some additional wire down here, but you'd have to unravel all that and do that. And on my Storm, I actually did do that. I actually kind of opened it and pushed up a little bit more wire so I can get more. But this one, I kind of just left it and maxed it out. So guys, when you do this, you are maxing it out. These wires are really tight, 
okay? I have them tight as shit because I want maximum height. But that's the only way you can do it to get up really high. But I'm going to tell you right now, when you do that and you get up really high, it's going to feel super comfortable, guys. Very comfortable. Um, let's see. Oh, let me... Uh, we, we spoke about charging earlier. Let me show you the ports. Now, I love the ports on this thing. The ports have been upgraded so well. And the size of them are amazing. And look at this right here. There's actual individual plugs for each prong. One, two, and three. And look at how deep it goes, guys. Look at that. Pause, by the way. Deep it goes. That sounded really wrong. Super paws, man. Paws, bro. Paws, paws. <laughs> but anyway, this shit, look at that. Look at it, dude. This is very high quality, okay? Now, you know, because they've upgraded to bigger ones or whatever. They give you an additional one. I showed in my unboxing, and you get two of these. This is why this charges is so many amps. So, And when you put it on and slide it on, it's so satisfying. You feel it slide in. You just feel the premium um aspect of it much much so okay now guys now let me mention another key aspect of why i got this scooter okay that is the one that stood out for me over the thunder 2 and all that shit um the only one it uh kind of conflict with was the bronco extreme 11 because that has sine wave controllers guaranteed but it was having issues and all that i didn't want to get it but anyway let me tell you the, another one of the main reasons why I got this, okay? And what's probably contributing to a lot of the speed. The 84 volt system, okay? The 84 volt system. Now, listen to me. This is the first um, mm, mainstream commercialized scooter. Dualtron is very commercialized, okay? When you talk about electric scooters and you think premium, you think Dualtron first. However, that does not mean that Dualtron is the only premium scooter. I'm just saying, we all know, when you think of Dualtron, you think of premium, but there are other premium scooters out there, like the Wolf Warrior, um, the Turbo Wheel, or the 011X, or you know the, the V-Set 10s. All, there's a lot of other premium scooters. We know that, okay? But all I'm saying is that this is much, much more known. now. This is the first majorly commercialized scooter to have an 84 volt system. Okay, so that's why I've got it over everything else because I was like, that has to make a big difference. Now, that doesn't mean it is the first 84 volt volts. It is not. That's what I mean. It's the first. People build their own scooters. There's projects. There's the Hunter Quads and all that shit. But the Hunter Quad is a 72. I'm just saying, okay, it doesn't mean it's the first because. What is the top dog scooter that we all know? Ryan. Ryan is was already an 84 volt system. Okay, so this is like when in the mainstream, major commercialized, and even uh, cheaper is the Dualtron. The cheapest that you're gonna get as of right now is the Dualtron Storm Limited with an 84. The Ryan has an 84 volt system. Actually, you can get two versions of the Ryan. You can get an 84 volt system or you can get an 88 volt system. The only thing is, the difference is the, the amp hours of the battery. Um, if you get the 88, it's gonna go down, okay? It's gonna be like a 30 amp hour. Um, if you get the, um, the other version, it's gonna be a 35 amp. If you get an 84, it's gonna be a 35 amp, okay? So, that's one thing I just wanted to uh, throw in there, um, just so you guys know, another reason why I got it. Okay, and another thing I want to talk about that I've been riding these scooters for a long time, since 2018. I have videos way back long ago, since like 2018, with some fucking bullshit-ass scooters, like the fucking Uber Scoot, bro. I've been riding these a long time, and what I've learned is that there's a lot of contributing factors that determine how fast or slow a scooter will go, okay? From we we all know and we all pay attention to like the watts, you know, and the voltage system. But there's also I'm talking about like us typical, you know, people. There's also other aspects that 
you know, in my opinion, I don't think we pay attention to, more average people, uh, which is the, the amps, okay? How many amps it's pushing out? And also the weight of the scooter, okay? This has a lot to do with your speed. If you're really into speed, that has a lot to do with the speed, okay? So I just, my point is I just learned that there's many different aspects. Like you can have a, set, a 72 volt scooter that's like a beast, okay? And then maybe you can have a 60 volt scooter that can kind of maybe fuck with it a little bit, kind of keep up, you know, like even at a 60 volt, it, it could be tweaked or something. It's just a lot of different, vari you know, variations with electricity that can make it run any way. Now I'm not saying like a 52 volt is gonna fucking, you know, beat like a 72, like that's not gonna, that's too low. But there's many different variations, weight, watts, um, freaking uh, amps, and all this shit, you know, combined into one that could determine how fast or slow a scooter is, okay? I just learned that. So that's why, even though I don't like the NAMI Burn E, I don't count it out until I try it. Because that, even though this is more powerful than the NAMI Burn E, the NAMI Burn E may hit harder in some ways, you know? So that's all I'm saying. Um, it's good to just take note of that. All right, let's see. What else can we talk about? Um, oh, the acceleration. Man, is the acceleration amazing, guys, okay? So, now, the acceleration, I believe, has been improved. I don't know if they, they may have tweaked something in the controllers to make them smoother because the acceleration is now hella smooth. Even riding on the highest settings, in some kind of way, it's more smoother and less jerky, okay? Now, this thing has a lot of power. I'm not telling you it's going to be like Ryan when you, when you tap it, even though it's super fast, it doesn't jerk off, like, jerk off. <laughs> but anyway, um, it doesn't, like, you know, speed off, like, hella fast and crazy like that because it's, it's got sine wave controllers confirmed. Um, it still does that, but it's very, very minimal. It's how can I, how can I say it? It's, um, it's, 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 um, hmm. it's fair. Okay. It's what you would expect in an improvement. And it's a noticeable improvement from the original storm on the original storm. I could be riding on like moderate settings and still when I hit it lightly, it's just, it's just, it's just crazy. So the controllers have been improved on acceleration. Now acceleration is just much more buttery smooth. Um, it feels very comfortable. It's amazing, okay? It is amazing. Um, let's see. When it comes to acceleration compared to the WePad SST, it is not there. So do not think that this scooter is gonna have WePad SST acceleration, okay? or even Ryan, I'm sure, because they're similar power. I don't have an, a Ryan and I never tried it, but comparing the specs, I'm pretty sure the Ryan, well, I'm certain that the Ryan is the same because the Ryan is pushing even more power than the WePad SST. It's pushing more amps. Um, so that back to what I was saying earlier, okay? Paying attention to these amps, okay? These amps play a huge role in it, okay? Because um, when you when they're able to push out more, it makes this thing, it makes the, like the WePad SST takes off because it's pushing hella amps. Okay, so now that's not to say that the uh, acceleration on this is always the same as the storm or trash. Fucking hell no. When I mean right under the SST, I mean right under that motherfucker. Okay, but it doesn't give you that crazy like as crazy as the SST, but it's crazy in its own way. It's, it's a big, huge difference. I'm just saying it doesn't have the same as the SST. <sighs> like on this one, it gives you that acceleration where you feel that shit moving and going fast. And you're like, oh shit, like, whoa, shit. Like you're like, this is crazy. Like a happy crazy on a WePad SST. And I'm sure on Orion as well, when you accelerate on that one, you're, it actually scares you. Okay, because the acceleration on an SST, when you hit that shit and take off, it, I don't know how to explain it, but it is like, like, it's boom, like it's, 
expect it's it hits you so hard that you know how you get the butterflies or the at least me man i don't give a fuck you get the little butterfly or the little rush maybe it's not really scared just the adrenaline or the rush feeling it hits you immediately especially on the first time when you're not used to it you hit it that motherfucker is like whew, like oh shit it scared the hell out of me i mean look at watch watch ginger ginger on wheels when he took off on it for the first time that shit scared the shit out of him. It's crazy, dude. Oh man. Holy mother of pearl. Is that real? Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Like his reaction, that shit is not cat. That's all facts, dude. You don't, you, until you ride like a wee pad, like that was a wee pad FS, but the Wii Pad FS and the Wii Pad SST are similar power, dude. The only reason why the Wii Pad FS is so much more expensive is because it's um, the parts and it's upgraded suspension and, and there's a fan in it. There's some things on it that make it cost more. Um, but anyway, that's my take on that, okay? So keep that in mind. Following up on that, next thing I want to move on to is the ludicrous mode, okay? Now, the ludicrous mode is fucking sick. Now, here's the thing that I wish, and I hope maybe there's a way to mod these scooters in the future to, you know, do this. I wish, I so wish there was a way to stay in the ludicrous mode. Oh my God. The ludicrous mode is giving those extra amps that push out. And um, Chan, Chan Alvin, uh, one of the supporters here and one of the guys who commented in there broke it all down of how that shit works. And you can definitely feel what he's saying. Um, because when you engage the ludicrous mode, you feel the difference. And you see my, my, my quick little uh, experiment. It's definitely like that, guys. It's crazy. The, but the thing is, it doesn't really last for that long. But the cooldown, I think it lasts for like, I don't know, maybe, f I'm not really sure. I'm trying to feel it. But when I did it, it seemed like it was like, I don't know, five minutes or something like that. Um, and then it, it cools down and then I could just engage it. You know, I just got to, pretty much I can engage it again. I got to wait like a couple of minutes. Okay. But when you engage it, you really feel it. And a way you can really, um, I, this is what I need to do more. And I only did it one time. This is a way you can really gauge it and, you know, feel it in time how long it is. Um, if you go into like a moderate setting, doesn't have to be not the highest setting, put it on like a moderate setting and then engage the ludicrous mode. You can feel the difference like you can feel um, because you're going more slower when you hit the when you engage the ludicrous mode, you can feel the difference. So every time you can accelerate. You can get like an accurate, you know, time of that. I'll do that next time, you know. So I'm just telling you, you know, the basis of it. So the ludicrous mode definitely makes you propel faster because it's adding those amps. Okay. So yeah, the amps are a big deal, man. And that's why my next scooter will be either a Weeped FS or a Ryan. Now, the thing about the Ryan is the Ryan is going to be cheaper than an FS and you're getting a whole shitload of power. So I may just get a Ryan because I have a big scooter, I have a medium scooter, and then I get and that one small and it's very lightweight. So that's why a Ryan is so fast as well, because it's small, it's all carbon fiber that allows you to move faster as well. So that's my take on that. Okay, um, I had to sit down because I'm really tired, but I'll kind of move around and uh, so you can see the scooter. Um, what else? Okay, so now I want to talk about the deck. Now, the deck is amazing. Okay, the deck is the shit. Okay, now this deck is a lot bigger than the original storm deck okay now you feel super comfortable especially for taller people like me especially for people with bigger feet um you just feel a lot more comfortable on this scooter now and and when you have a bigger deck you can plant your feet a lot more easier and you can have more control now for me i have a size i wear a size 12 okay and when i stand on this deck i have absolute 
absolutely more room. Uh, I feel more comfortable. I feel like I'm in control. Both of my feet can lock inside of the whole entire deck without hanging off. Okay, and, and when I've been riding like this and I've been riding on this, I've been feeling super duper comfortable, guys. So the deck is definitely a lot better now, guys. You're going to love the deck. If you wanted the deck, if you wanted to get the storm, but you was kind of skeptical about the deck size and that it was too small and all that, the storm limited has fixed that. Now the deck is a decent size and it feels very comfortable. Um, what I want to talk about now. Now, oh, let's move on to the tires. Now, you guys know I was skeptical about these tires, right? But let me tell you how I feel about them now. This, and all, this is all opinionated, right? Everybody has different opinions. I love these tires. These tires are fucking amazing. They actually handle very well. But I'm going to tell you right now, they're not going to be as good um, as some PMTs, okay? Obviously, some PMTs or whatever. Now, I hate changing these tires because it's annoying and it's a pain in the ass and it takes forever and blah, blah, blah. So I may leave these on for a while, but I do want to see how they ride with different tires. Now, if you get some... Um, you know, good PMTs on there, it'll probably ride different, but whatever. My point is, I want to tell you guys how these ride. And, you know, I was skeptical. They may not ride good. They look a little slip, slippery. But once you wear them in, they ride great. Um, they turn great. They lean turn very good. I didn't really lose any traction. So if you're worried about that, it doesn't happen. But at the same time, I'm going to tell you, you could probably lose traction. And absolutely, of course, PMT tires will be better. I have some PMTs, I just don't wanna use them. I prefer not to. I actually like tires with more tread, but after riding these, and because I know that this has the no flat technology, that's the main reason why I'm, I'm keeping these on. Guys, you wanna know why I keep these on? Because I have a Storm, right? And I have a Storm Limited. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put all those on my Storm. Aftermarket tires, PMTs, um, semi uh, off-road tires with grip and all that. I'm going to leave those on there. Why? Because if I get a flat tire on that scooter, I'm going to be like, I'm, I won't be fucked. I'll be like, well, I don't have to change anything right now. And you know, I do deliveries. I don't have to worry about going, missing my money, going and putting, you know, fixing it, pull it plugging it and all that. Nope. Just go grab the limited. This has the no flat technolo technology te uh, tech. Ugh, I'm so tongue tied. The no flat tire technology, which we're still going to have to see how that works out. I'm going to let you know if it works or not when I get something stuck in there and then I'll pull it out on cam and we'll see what happens. Like real, because I'm just a real reviewer, not no paid bullshit. We're going to see how that works. If that works, dude, I'm sorry. I got to leave these on here and then my storm will have aftermarkets because then I can have a tire that truly does not get flats. And when my storm gets a flat, ah, well, just hop on my limited, no big deal, until I can get that fixed when I have free time. So that's another thing. Now, another thing I did, I measured these tires to the best of my abilities because, you know, they're advertised at um, 12 inches. And as I did it, I can't really get to the wheel, to the actual wheel, because the arm is in the way. But it does measure, you could tell if you lift up without the thing in the way, it will measure to 12, okay? So these tires really are 12 inches. And also, I checked the speedometer and also the GPS tracking, and I found that they were both in sync. So it is accurate. And you guys know I did some tests on my Duotron Storm with the Mini Motors Eye. It is accurate, guys. The Mini Motors Eye does, you know, track accurately on you know with the wheel diameter and the speedometer so it works it works well so that's that too so let's see what else can we talk about that we need to go oh of course everybody wants to know about the speed okay so for me the speed is fucking amazing okay now, let me tell you what I got. So, from a zero start, this scooter gets from zero to 40 miles an hour 
in three seconds. I'm going to repeat that. This scooter gets from zero to 40 miles an hour in three seconds. Do you know how much I weigh? 190 pounds. Okay. That's insanity. Now, when it comes to a zero to 50, I got from zero to 50 in six to seven seconds. Okay. That is fucking sick. Okay. Now, if you are lighter, like Mikey, electric scooter guy, okay, if you're 140, this thing is going to pull your ass even more than me, even faster than me, okay? Now, uh, I did do like a little speed test, but I told you I might put it in and I might not put it in, but uh, I guess I'll put it in and I'll show, but the quality is trash. And I tried to find a street around my house. Um, I don't have a GoPro and I don't have the mount power thing and all that. And I wanted to do it right. But I know people were asking and all that. So, hey, I'm going to do what I can. And as I mentioned earlier, I didn't want to put it in because it shakes and the quality looks bad. This is the reason why I don't do it until I get a GoPro. But I'll throw it in there. Now, I got 50 miles an hour. Um... And then I ran out of street, but I could have kept going, but the street came to an end. So I did get 50 miles an hour. This is what happened when I tried it. But now it's gonna be shaky. It's gonna be all that. Oh, before we even do that, I'm gonna put everything on max, okay? So let's go here. And we're at 100%, as you can see. So, uh, let's see. Okay, so seven is at zero start, that's correct. Um, 800%. Motor torque was at one because I'm doing deliveries, so we want that at three. Okay, eco mode off. Okay, see, eco mode is not pressed in. Okay, so one more time just to confirm 100% battery. Let's go all the way back around. P7 is at zero, P8 is at 100. Uh, motor torque uh, level 3 okay so this is max setting guys alright so I'll do it like this raw and I'll tell you what I get alright let's do this uh, my kickstand is fucked up alright man I gotta be like Jay I gotta be strong let's snatch this shit up alright let's go got to zero to 50 holy shit all right guys so there it is that's what i got it's not really like you know the right kind of speed test with the you know like jay and all of them they have the little like uh, mile power speedometer thing i want to do one like that but um i'm pretty sure somebody will come and do something like that so it's, it's just a matter of time but i'm here to tell you guys that what i got is legit you guys know i'm not you, know, you guys know I'm real. Like, I'm not going to lie about it. Like, it really is legit. It was um, a 0 to 40 in 3 seconds and a 0 to 50 in 6 to 7 seconds. And that is amazing. Okay? And as I said, that's good enough for me because I'm not going to be going like 60 or 70 miles an hour on a scooter. I wanted something that got to 50 fast. And 50 is really all you need. And this thing gets to 50 and just to have the power. Because let me tell you the, com the comparison. On my Storm, it's a 0 to 30 fast. On this, it's a 0 to 40. Now, I was like, damn, if I could just have a 0 to 40, man, that would be fucking nice. Because then I could just go 0 to 40 and I don't have to, like, be sluggish and all that. That's what this is. The Storm is not fucking with this scooter in any way. It's way slower. It can't fuck with this at all. So just, just letting you guys know that. So um, that's one thing about the speed on this thing. But there's another thing that affects the speed. And that is 
the tires, okay? Now, remember, these things are spinning hella fast, like 40 miles, 40 miles an hour, like Mikey said. Like, these things are spinning really fast, right? But it depends on the quality of your tires, of how well they grip the ground. That increases your speed, okay? And in my opinion, I think the, the off-roads... They will really pull you like, I know they're meant for the dirt and all that shit, but when I put the off-roads on my storm, I actually got faster because it's gripping the ground. The treads are gripping. They're grabbing it. This is just sliding, especially the front wheel. So if the front wheel is doing more sliding than gripping, that's all the speed just going into a slide. Okay. Now, if you put some PMT, some good PMT tires on this, it's those grip more well. And that's going to grip and that's going to propel you faster. Now, if you put some semi-off-road tires like the ones I showed you in my Dualtron Storm limited unboxing that I have on my Storm, in my opinion, if you put those on, those are going to pull more. And I'm really going to try some of those on these one day when I feel like doing it. Right now, I'm chilling. But... You know, I feel if you put some semi off roads on, which those are real rubber, the ones that I have on my storm, that's going to also pull you, dude. That's going to make you go faster. So the tires have a lot to do with the speed, um, how fast you go too, as well, because of how well it grips the ground. Oh, another thing I, I noticed about this thing. Okay. And I think this is due to the 84 volt system. Okay. Even at low battery, this thing is still fast. <laughs> it's still fast because it has more power. So even when you get at a lower voltage, you're still going like a, a, a good amount of speed. You're still able to hit, hit like 40, 40, 45. Like, dude, that's insane. So I think, you know, because of the, um, and if you hit the, the ludicrous mode to give you some additional amps for a push or whatever, because of that and because of the 84 volt system, that's another advantage, guys. Like even at a lower battery, your battery still gets low, you can still reach decent speeds, fast speeds. Maybe not as fast as it was when it was uh, in the middle of the battery or at the top, but, at, but to be able to move, you know, a decent speed um, when the battery's low, dude, that's amazing. OK, that's another reason what what I figured from getting an 84 volt system, what would happen if I got that? So that's why I got it. It's a lot of reasons, man. It's a lot of reasons, good reasons to get this scooter. Oh, the steering damper. OK, now this is the steering damper that comes with it. Um, it comes with it's mini motors branding. As you can see right there. I know it's not focusing, but, you know, it's mini motors. Um, this steering damper is great. Um, it works very well. Um, as you can see, the way that I have it set, I like full turn radius. So I, I perfectly align it like that. And then I perfectly align those like that. That's just how I like it. Um, it's not as stiff, but you get the full turn radius. This is what I like. I like to be able to turn all the way like this and then all the way like that. OK, because when you go, you know how when you go into to like little parking lots or you're going up a little ramp and then you have to do like these. You're going really slow, but you have to you want to keep riding. You don't want to get off and walk it. But you have to when you're going slow and doing those, you have to turn like really far like this, you know. And if you if the steering damper doesn't allow you to turn like only this much, you can't do it. You got to get off. I know that's a little nitpick, but I'm very nitpicky about that. And the steering dampers that don't allow you to turn all the way. I don't like that. This one does. And I fucking love it. Um, now, when it comes to steering dampers, um, I really never got them because I didn't like any of them. I didn't like how they felt. I felt they were slugging me down. I couldn't turn. Um, I never used them. Like I never used them on any of my scooters. Um, now, when it comes to the Dualtron Storm, um, I never used a steering damper because I felt that I didn't need one. With the with the, the wobble or whatever, steering wobble, I never get that, okay? And I think it's because of something that I do with these scooters that I'm going to tell you um, that I don't see nobody talking about. And I'm going to tell you what I do, and that's a reason why. I'll give you a little hint because I did it on this scooter too. 
there's a bolt missing right here, okay? I have all of my bolts here, all right? But there's a bolt missing here, and it's, a, and it's contributing to what I'm telling you, what I did to the scooter, but I don't really give a fuck. The only way I can do it is by having a bolt missing, whatever. These aren't going anywhere. But because of what I do to the scooter, it really helps me not have the, the wobble. And, you know, I'll share that later. But anyway, I never really used the steering damper because I didn't like them and I didn't feel like I really needed them. Okay, because I just, I can control it. But with, but my, but here's the thing. With this scooter, you need the steering damper. That's the reason why it comes standard on this. On this scooter, you need a steering damper. Okay, this is way too powerful. And they know that. They understand that. That's, they knew people would probably get fucked up if they gave them this scooter. Oh, we're gonna get sued and all that shit. Because this thing is way too fucking powerful not to have the steering damper, guys. So, um, the steering damper is definitely needed for this scooter, okay? So, that's my take on the steering damper. The stem is really not a big deal, okay? The stem is, uh, you know, it's the same thing. It doesn't have any wobble because of this. You need to get one of these right now. Can't emphasize that enough. But the stem has no wobble at all. So um, that's pretty much all the only thing I to say about the stem, really. Oh, and for hill climbing, come on, dude. I haven't tried it yet. There's a lot of hills in my neighborhood and eventually I'm gonna deliver to somebody in the hills and I'm gonna be able to try the storm on a hill. And let me tell you right now, I have no doubt in my mind that this thing is gonna climb hills like a beast. Now, here's one thing about hill climbing on Dualtrons. They've never really been the best, okay? Let's just keep it real. Dualtron, I mean, they're gonna climb the hills, don't get me wrong, and they're gonna climb them well, but they're not gonna climb them like a Wolf Warrior. They're not gonna climb them like a 011X um, or a, uh, uh, a Turbo Wheel or a uh, probably even a, v, a V-Set uh, 11 Plus. Um, these scooters really climb hills, especially the double stem scooters. I don't know what it is about these double stem scooters. They climb hills like a fucking beast, okay? But I have no doubt in my mind with this power that I've ridden it and how comfortable it is with these tires, this thing is gonna climb hills no problem. Of course, when I do it, I'll just make a quick video and I'll post it and let you guys know that hill climbing is amazing, but I have no doubt in my mind with everything I just told you guys about the power that this thing will climb, will hill climb like a champ, guaranteed. Now, there's one more thing I wanna mention about the weight, okay? Now, as you know, I got a Duotron Storm, but I'm like 190 pounds, possibly 200 pounds, okay? Now, there's people out there that have the Storm that weigh the advertised, okay? Keep in mind, it has to be the advertised weight. They, they say that the storm can get like, you know, 60 miles an hour. You know, the storm can get 60 miles an hour, okay? But you have to be the weight, okay? There's, there's plenty of reviewers out there that have done a Dualtron Storm uh, test, speed test, and got 60 miles an hour. I can't get 60 miles an hour on a storm because of my weight, okay? It's just, and the amount of power that it has. I would need more power. On this, I'm most certain I can. The only reason why I didn't get to 60 is because I ran out of road. And you know, I, you know, I said I wouldn't top it out, but when I was going, I was feeling confident and it was feeling very sturdy. This is a sturdy scooter, so I wasn't feeling scared. So I was ready to keep going, but I didn't have enough uh, road. So, you know, as you can see. So, um, but at some point, maybe I'll find a bigger road. But by the time I do that, somebody will have done a speed test. These are the beginning days and I'm just trying to get you guys a good review out there um, before you know all of them are out there and I'm, I'm telling you as much as I can even if it's long. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. This is my style. This is how I do. Let me just give you a couple of good glances of the scooter so you guys can see how beautiful it is. Yes sir. She is gorgeous. Yes. So Oh, one more thing I need to talk about. Um, 
the eco mode. Okay, <laughs> guys, you are gonna love this. Okay, now if you had a storm, I'm talking to my storm riders right now, okay? Now when you had a storm, okay, the scooter still goes fast in eco mode. It still rides, it's still decent and all that. But it is like, you know, relatively slower because it's in eco mode, so it's not supposed to be like super punchy and whatnot, okay? On the Dualtron Storm Limited, it's a different story. <laughs> in eco mode, you're still just flying. Like how I said the controllers had to be modified. It is super, super comfortable with eco mode on. And it's even comfortable without eco. But with, with eco, it feels like a regular, nice, calm ride. But you're still really fast. That's nice. Comfortability and you're saving on battery. It's just amazing. Okay. So eco mode on, you still can get, you still get like 40 miles an hour or even faster or whatever, but at a comfortable rate. And it also depends on your, uh, you know, the, the P settings here on your motor torque, either one, two or three, your acceleration P7, whether it's zero, five, five, you know, zero through five, um, zero being, you know, the full acceleration and five being uh, the slowest acceleration. That's entirely up to you. You're supposed to mix and match and mess around and see which, you know, what's comfortable for you. You're just gonna experiment with it. Um, but the fucking, the, the eco mode, oh, it's great now. So, yeah guys, it's pretty much it. Oh, let's actually do, let's turn the lights off. Uh, let me pause it, I'm gonna turn the lights off and we'll get a little light show of it. Bam, guys, bada bing, bada boom. Look at that, guys. Isn't she gorgeous? You know I love that RGB. You know it. It just looks so amazing, guys. Let's get a good spin around on that. You guys can see it. There goes the forks. You can see there. Check it out. Yeah, looks great. Lights here, they seem brighter. Um, they're still not doing any justice. You're gonna have to get a bike light, but they do seem brighter, which is nice. But anyway, that's that height, bro. That's that height. Anyway, yeah, just showing you guys this. Looks great. Looks phenomenal, right? Beautiful, beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay, guys, now with the range, I didn't really be it get the chance to do like a true range test yet. But I'm gonna tell you right now, even after, even though I haven't been able to do that, I could tell right now that this thing is just gonna be like so good on battery. Actually, when I did this run that I showed you guys, this little speed test or whatever to 50 miles an hour, um, I was surprised to see how much I was using the scooter and how much battery I had left. Check this out. Okay, now guys, one more thing I wanna show you guys before I get back to work. Now, when I got up, when I got up to do my deliveries today, um, I went out and I, 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 I set it to like, you know, low settings because I wanna deliver on low settings. I don't deliver on crazy ass high settings when I do deliveries. I lower it to say battery. You don't need to go crazy, you're working. But I got up and I was like, you know what, man? I love this fucking thing. I wanna fucking like just go fast. You know what I mean? Just for a second just for a couple of times. So I turned it on the max settings and I did one power, you know, speed run, just one, right? Now, right here, I just did, I just did, uh, you know, two. I did one on the way there and one on the way back. Um, I recorded one, but I did one on the way back. So that's three high speed runs, actually four, because when I got up, I did four. I did two, yeah, I did two major speed runs, right? On my own, just fucking around. And then I did two right now. And look at my battery. That's insanity. 98%. I didn't even scratch it, bro. Are you kidding me? And I weigh 190 pounds. What? Why do you think I put so much, much emphasis on a 45 amp hour battery, bro? This is what you get big batteries guys it's just dude insanity
All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it. Um, all right, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it. Gonna wrap it up here. Um, I tried to hit you with as much things as I can. Uh, I know it's gonna be a long video, but I mean, you can, you don't have to watch it. You can skip through it, whatever you wanna do. Um, but this is how I wanna do my video. But anyway, shout out to those people I shouted out, man. Uh, I love your guys' videos, and I'm hoping that this does no the same numbers as my Dualtron Storm review, um, because mainly because I got those guys in there, and I want you them to get recognition and to check their channels out. Um, you know, maybe if you want something different other than me, you know, because I'm like, yeah, dude, maybe I'll get some numbers on this, and I could put some people in there, and people could see those people, or whatever, you know. So definitely shout those guys out, man. Um, also, um, shout out to uh, Mikey, electric scooter guy. Thanks for shouting me out in the video you just made. So, you know, shout out for shout out. I got you in this one, my boy. Um, anybody who shouts me out, dude, I'm going to shout them out. I'm going to shout out people regardless because that's just how I am. I'm going to do it. I love shouting people out. I love giving people credit. I love other people learning about other people and how they do things. That's just how I am. I love doing it. There's no better feeling. So uh, shout out, Mikey. I appreciate that shout out. I appreciate that video that you made, you know, with me when I did my initial acceleration test. You made a video telling people that I made it. And I appreciate that. Thanks for the shout out. And for all of you guys who support me, thank you for supporting me. Um, you know, for the people who don't really like my videos, I mean, you don't have to watch them. And like I said, I'm gonna make a before you watch my videos video. So for those, you know, who may stumble upon my videos and wanna watch me, I'm gonna say watch that first because you may not wanna see my videos, okay? And then after that, I'm gonna explain the comments, what to say in the comments, and then after that, I'm just not gonna say anything about it. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do it, and that's it. Anyways, shout out to all you guys. Thanks for the support. Um, oh, stay tuned. My nine month review of the Dualtron Storm. I will be doing that. We'll see how much miles I've added to it. We'll see how it's head up. Ugh. We'll see how it's held up. Um, I'll show you the upgrades. I'll tell you what went wrong on it, what problems it had, if it had problems, if it didn't have problems, um, upgrades, all that kind of stuff. That's coming in December because that'll be my three month. I think December 20th or something like that. Um, and I'll show you every new thing that I put on it. So other than that, um, I hope you guys have a fantastic evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Um, love all you guys. Appreciate your support. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Keep your family close. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.